Hello everyone and welcome to In My Humble Opinion, a presentation of PSN News. Tonight our roundtable discussion is focusing on the topic of education. I'm Christine Rianzo and I'll be moderating tonight. Joining me tonight we have John Wartman from the College Republicans, Nadia Letihet from the College Democrats, and Chase England from the College Independents. Thank you all so much for joining us tonight. So let's start off with the big picture, the government. How involved in education do you think the federal government should be? Well, I, I guess I'll start by saying that the federal government, I think, should be the standard bearer in, you know, setting the basic requirements, so, you know, reading, writing, math skills, because, you know, a lot of communities might not have as strong of an incentive to emphasize those things, but in the global economy, it's necessary for, you know, our citizens to remain competitive. Um, that being said, beyond that, I think it really should be decided by the parent and the individual student what the focus of their curriculum should be, um, because everyone you know, by definition is coming in looking for something different out of their education. Um, I guess that I'll go next. Uh, I couldn't disagree more with Mr. <laughs> England. I think that the federal government should be completely out of education. It's nowhere constitutional, number one. The second part is if you look at major federal overhauls such as No Child Left Behind, they've been a complete disaster because you cannot try to universally put a curriculum in place across 50 states. It just doesn't work. You have different students. You have different needs. It doesn't fit everyone on an individual basis. And when the federal government gets involved in things that should be left to the state level, it causes for problems, complications, and ultimately the teacher has to bear that burden, and it's not fair to them. Well, if you notice um, what you said sort of falsely attributed No Child Left Behind to what the, uh, the focus on my comments were, and what I'm really trying to say is that they should be a basic standard bearer, saying that reading, writing, math skills are necessary. But that's what No Child Left Behind is. And look how it's it, worked. It, it's been a complete it, it, disaster. I'm not speaking to the methodology. I'm not speaking to the extent that they're dictating the curriculum. I'm saying there has to be some standard set by somebody. It should be the states. Each individual state should set their own curriculum. That's where departments of education should be focused. If you abolish the Federal Department of Education tomorrow, you could take millions upon millions of dollars and put it back into the classroom and get it back to the kids and get it back to the teachers and quit with this nonsense of the federal government trying to dictate to every state what should and shouldn't be in the curriculum and making these kids take and focus all their time on these tests. I think we can all agree that No Child Left Behind was a disaster that should not be revisited, but I would have to agree with Chase that there needs to be some sort of baseline standard, basic minimum for what the state governments need to be expecting from their schools. That's not to say that the federal government is going to micromanage, has the resources to micromanage, or should micromanage what goes on in classrooms across the United States. But there needs to be a standard, and the federal government does have that responsibility at the very least. Okay. We're going to uh, take a break now. A lot of great points were uh, brought up, and uh, we'll see you after the break. Students here at Penn State have different ideas on what higher education means to them, and they also have some interesting takes on how to improve it. Let's see what they have to say. I think a lot of students don't understand the basis between student and teacher relationships. They forget that their teacher is an actual human. So that's why they're always like cramming and like trying to figure out how to get help and things like that. Our institution specifically gives a lot of money to the football program and I feel like those could be allocated. I mean, I'm a big proponent of the liberal arts just because that's the college that I'm in. But um, so I think it could be given to, you know, the, the academic programs rather than the athletic programs because I think that's, that's the point of an institution is to, you know, progress their academics. Higher education is great. It allows you to do, take classes that you want to take. I mean, there's the general education, which I think is really important. As you can see, higher education is something greatly valued with the students here from Penn State. Reporting for PSN News, I'm Derek Herman. Okay, so we're going to wrap up. A lot of great points have been brought up. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. We really appreciate you taking the time to be with us. This has been In My Humble Opinion. For more programming like this, visit PennStateNetworkTV.com. I'm Christine Rienzo. Have a great night, and thanks for watching.